Hi again and welcome to 3D Printing Jeep. My name is Tom. In a previous video I showed a temperature tower to find out the best printing temperature for a material. And in this video I will show you how you can build your own temperature tower to find out the best temperature for about any material you'd like to print with. If you like the video, please give me your thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out any following videos and write down your comments and thoughts in the comment section below the video. And now it's time to get started with building your own temperature tower. First we need the STL files to print our temperature tower. Therefore head over to thingiverse.com and enter smart temperature tower into the search box. And after hitting enter you get a lot of results but we pick the first one which is exactly what uh, you would want. This is the preview of what the temperature tower could look like and there you click on download all files and after you got the files unzip them into a directory of your choice. Back in Cura uh, it doesn't matter which version of Cura you use. Uh, go to open files and select the smart temperature tower stand STL. This is the base of the temperature tower and open it. When you click it you can see that it's 1.4 millimeters in Z height and that's to remember. Uh, also, I'm using a standard PLA profile here. Uh, if you use other material, then you should uh, select an according profile for the material you like to check the best temperature for. The manufacturer of your filament should already suggest a printing temperature. That's mostly a range and I love to go 5 degrees Celsius below that range and 5 degrees Celsius above that range since temperature measurement of 3D printers isn't always that accurate and that's a way to at least cover the best temperature range for our temperature tower. Go to open files in Cura again and select all the temperature tower parts you need to cover uh, the temperature range you found out. Let's say we have a PLA and want a temperature tower to be printed for from 195 degrees Celsius up to 225 degrees Celsius. Now I have all parts selected and open them. What you see now is that Cura automatically arranges the parts to be on the build plate, but we want to stack them on top of each other. The first thing is to make sure that all parts are lined up in the same direction. Therefore, rotate the parts which are misaligned by 90 degrees. Like so. Next, click on the build plate and select all models. Now, right click again and select merge models. As you can see, all models are now merged together in one place. Because we merged all model parts to one model previously, we need a way to move around the individual parts separately. That can be done by holding the control key and left clicking on the merged model. And as you can see, it just selects one part. We want to 
drag it out of the way and we repeat that step with all other parts until only the stand remains on the build platform. Now all parts are separate from each other. You may remember that in the beginning when I put the stand on the build plate I selected it and uh, went to the scale uh, dialog to find out what's its height in Z dimension, which is 1.4. Now, to position all our parts uh, correctly, hold the control key and select the first part, in this case 195, and choose the position icon so that you can enter its Z position in the dialog and enter 1.4 which makes it drop exactly on top of the stand now check the height of the single parts each part is 10 millimeters high that means for all remaining parts the procedure goes the same way select the next part holding control left click it and enter the correct Z height 11.4 which is the height of the stand plus the height of the part and press enter and it drops exactly where we need it. If we need more space then just select the parts and drag them out of the way you can select multiple parts by holding Ctrl Shift and click them. Now the 205, Ctrl left click and position 20.4. And finally for the 225 degree Celsius part. Control left click and 61.4. As you can see, all parts are nicely stacked on top of each other. Now we need to make sure that uh, our printer changes the temperature uh, for each part when it starts to print it. To do that we use the extensions um, post-processing dialog modify g-code where we can add post-processing scripts to our uh, files which are executed after the slicer has done its work and click on add a script, select change at Z. Don't worry about the experimental, it works very well. When you selected that script, you see a new dialog section appear on the right. Enabled is important and we want a trigger um, on a special height and for the first change we need to input the height of our, our stand because we want the temperature to change to 195 degrees celsius at a height of 1.4 millimeters make also sure that you check target layer and subsequent layer and now select change extruder one temp and here you can enter in the box which appears, you can enter the desired temperature 195. Repeat that step for each of your temperature tower parts. That means for the second part, the temperature change uh, shall occur at 11.4 millimeters height, and the temperature has to be 200. 
and go through all your parts until you reach the last one. Here are all scripts added for the temperature tower in the example and at each of the heights where a new part begins the temperature goes up five degrees. Now we can close this dialog. You can see the, the post-processing script uh, is shown with this little tool icon next to the slice button and you can also see we have seven post-processing scripts active which matches exactly the parts one two three four five six seven now slice apart and export the g-code save it and you are ready to print your temperature tower. This is how the finished temperature tower looks like. Take a close look at it and uh, you will be able to decide at which temperature you get the best results. Look at the overhangs if they print well and uh, also look at the numbers if they are squished or if they are nice to read and uh, also the small spikes inside the holes give you a hint which temperature could be the best for your material. I hope this was very helpful for you and if you like it give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming video of mine and uh, write down your comments in the comment section.